Welcome back. Some people in Monroe County claim attendance guidelines for teachers are unfair. They came from first year superintendent Jim Finch, who, Finch rather, at the start of the year, but now one parent says the changes could impact teacher retention. Cecily Stout spoke with Tabitha Floyd, who felt strongly enough about the guidelines that she went to the attorney general. I'm, I'm outraged. Tabitha Floyd says she's lived in Monroe County for 12 years. She says she's never looked into the state standards for teachers until late March when she heard about the new attendance guidelines. Where teachers are being evaluated and based on how many sick leave days they use during the year and it's impacting their professionalism score. These guidelines were sent to all county principals by first year superintendent Jim Finch. But Floyd says they were not clear enough because the principals don't use them consistently. Some of the principals within our school district accepted doctor's notes and other principals did not accept any doctor's notes. Floyd says some teachers said they were docked for being sick with their child in the hospital or having to go to an OBGYN appointment. They can be, you know, a great, highly professional, excellent teacher and then also be an excellent mom at the same time. Floyd filed a complaint to the state attorney general because she believes the Board of Education violated the state open meeting law when they voted on Finch's attendance guidelines. I think it should have been discussed in an open meeting because it's an employment policy that's impacting all the employees. So it should not be a secret. Since last week, I've reached out to the Board of Education to hear from the superintendent or his office, but I have not heard back. Floyd says she sat down with the superintendent recently. She said he was understanding about her concerns. He's just looking to go forward and make changes in the future. I would like to see the teachers who were negatively impacted by this, that their evaluations be redone for this school year. In Monroe County, Cecily Stout, 13 WMEZ News. Right now, the Georgia Department of Education gives teachers 10 sick, sick hours per month. The next Monroe County Board of Education meeting is scheduled for May 14th. And to hopefully retain.